everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you might create a surrealist self-portrait. Again, I'm going to be inspired by Archimbaldo, and in particular, this piece of work. It's called Feast for the Eyes. And as you can see, it's just a collage of different sea life crustaceans, marine animals, and so forth. I absolutely love it. I love the humour behind it as well, as well as the uh, fantastic technical uh, ability he has shown. And like this portrait, I too absolutely love the ocean. Anything to do with the ocean, really. I love marine life, I love sailing, I love being on the water. So I thought I could create a self-portrait that represents me and my love of the ocean. So for that, I've been collecting various bits and pieces from magazines, as you can see, things that in might inspire me one day. I've got some old chart map um, uh, uh, road map book here that I thought might be nice and used for something. I found um, uh, very handy a calendar from last year, uh, ocean animals calendar there. I've got newspaper cuttings and printouts and so forth. In fact, it's a really good idea if you love your art, especially collage, to keep a little folder and just always squirrel stuff away so you can use them to create new art. I have no idea how it's going to go, I'm just going to enjoy the process. Okay, so what I've done first of all is get someone to take a side profile, side profile of me, okay? Uh, you can use your phone as a, or tablet, just so you've got a reference guide to give you something to look at whilst you're doing your portrait drawing. And I'm simply going to just you know, copy the outline with a few tiny details. It really shouldn't take long at all. Okay, so once you've got your profile outline, just a simple pencil outline, that's all that's needed, shouldn't take you too long, you're ready to start collaging. Now there's two ways you can create collage. You can uh, take the paper and simply tear it. Um, gives a nice soft uh, fuzzy edge, okay? More of a natural sort of soft edge. Or you can of course use scissors to cut round a shape. I think I'm gonna use both. I think for the background, I'm thinking maybe, I'm not 100% sure, but I might use this uh, old uh, map to create some sort of plainish background um, so that the portrait really stands out and I'll probably just tear that and then for the, for the sea animals and the creatures I'm going to use a pair of scissors and cut round. Now I would suggest a small sharp pair of scissors will get the best result and you're going to need patience for this, take your time. Uh, you want to sort of get round the, um, as close as possible to the edge of the shape as you can uh, so that you get a nice result. So you don't, certainly don't want to rush cutting around the shape and then just sticking it on. You won't get a nice finish like, like that. So you do need a bit of patience for that. Okay, so I'm going to give it a go. So as you've seen, I've now completely uh, collaged the background of the um, portrait and I just want to quickly explain a little extra um, layer that I've put on the portrait. Um, what I actually did was, um, with about 75% PVA glue, ordinary PVA glue, and a little bit of white paint. Now if you haven't got any acrylic paint, uh, these little white emulsion paints are good, so you might have some of that lying around. Uh, the little tester pots and I mixed it up in a little palette and I've just brushed on uh, the mixture 
just to create a kind of whitewash effect because what I wanted to do was have an interest, ooh, sorry, <laughs> have an interesting background, uh, but not make it too strong. And I felt that the collage was quite a bold, strong color in the end. And I don't want anything to distract from the main portrait. And it gives a really nice effect. Okay, so now we're ready for the really fun part, creating the portrait. Now, I strongly recommend before you commit yourself uh, to sticking anything down, and I'm only using an ordinary uh, glue stick, by the way, um, have a play around with the images. Just make sure you're kind of happy um, of, of where they're going to go before you commit yourself, because you're probably going to layer stuff up and rearrange things and maybe have to trim bits and cut things around. So, yeah, I would just create a loose plan by laying out the images first and then uh, gluing them down once you're happy. And one more thing, um, lastly, because unlike Orkinbaldo, we haven't got the luxury of painting the creatures exactly how we want them, um, we, I'm going to use some sort of smaller ripped up pieces from a larger image as an underlayer to the painting so that there's a little bit of hidden texture underneath the creatures before I lay these on top. Okay, well, I'm almost done. Just the last piece. Now this really has been like doing a jigsaw puzzle and it's taken a little bit of working out, but I've really enjoyed it. And there you go, a little sailing boat, our little sailing boat, as an earring. And there's the finished portrait. I hope you have a go and uh, enjoy, enjoy it as much as I did. I've really enjoyed doing collage this time round. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you like the video. I'm hoping to do some more soon. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll know when, when I put them out. And uh, yeah, enjoy it. Take care. Another one bites the dust.